Hi, I'm Sam. Today, we're gonna build a potato cannon. Let's make! If you've seen videos about potato cannons before, you know just how awesome they are. I thought it would be a fun idea to try and build one for under $30. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Before we get into this video, I did just want to take a second to remind you that if you like this content, please scroll down, press that subscribe button, and ring that little bell icon. I upload a new video every Monday at noon, and I would love to see you there. Well, let's get right into this build. For this build, I used a 4-inch PVC pipe, a 3-inch PVC pipe, a reducer, and an end cap. I also used a grill ignition switch, which was by far the most expensive part of this build. It's also important to note that potato cannons are incredibly dangerous, so do not attempt this at home. When you cut PVC, it's important to deburr it afterwards. This prevents anything from getting caught on there, and it also ensures that you have a proper bond when you use the PVC cement. While using the PVC cement, you are going to want to use the primer first and then the actual bonding agent. This just ensures that you have the best possible bond that you can get. It's also important to note that whenever you're bonding PVC, you want to keep constant pressure on it while it cures. As I said before, the grill igniter is the most expensive part of this build. It comes in at around $20, but it is the most effective way of creating a spark inside of the combustion chamber. I decided to glue around each of the contacts so I have an airtight seal. For the grip, I decided to just use paracord as well as hot glue to hold it into place. This will make it so it doesn't slip out of my hands and it helps hide the PVC cement. I gave a full even coat of black spray paint just because I think it looks cool. No other reason. What I'm doing here is filing down an edge to a sharp point at the tip of the potato cannon. What this is going to do is it will allow me to cut the potatoes as I'm loading them in, which will ensure a proper fit in the barrel. This thing looks awesome. I am so excited to test this out. I'm gonna do probably two, maybe three tests. The first one's going to be inside just to kind of get a gauge of how powerful it is going to be. And then we're gonna take it outside and see how far we can launch some potatoes. So that's enough talking. Let's get right into the testing. So I have my potato cannon right here, potatoes and propulsion, which is the hairspray. And I have my target set up over there. I think we're just going to load this thing and See how it goes. It perfectly forms them to the size of the barrel by just cutting it all off. I marked how far down it needs to go. So we just go to that level. Now we take our hairspray, spray it into the back end, screw on the cap. And here we go, in three, two, one. Okay, so <laughs> we're not gonna do that inside anymore. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, so our next test will be outside for sure. I have potato all over my garage. Okay. <laughs> So the next time I see you, we're gonna be outside. <laughs> Look at this, I have potato on my sleeve. I'm out here in a nondescript field with my buddy Frank. So we are going to start with just a test to see how far it will get. All right, we're just gonna go straight. 
There we go. That had some balls to it. Look at the blowback on the <laughs> Good, or it's gonna blow up. At which point, my wife is gonna kill you. <laughs> Not if we're both dead. Yep. There we go. How far does this go? 100 feet. 100 feet, okay. So each of these goes 100 feet. That's 200 feet. So we're at 200 feet. 300 feet? What is it, 350? <laughs> 346 feet. Almost an entire football field from back, to, back of end zone to back of end zone, according to Frank. It's two yards shy. So it would have went from goal post to goal post. It would have been two yards shy. Goal post to goal post. That's insane. We need a longer barrel, a wider and longer fuel canister, and one more step down, and then we'll have more fuel to mix with the air. We'll have more compression of that fuel as it goes through two step downs into a smaller barrel. And if we put it at a 45 degree angle like we're supposed to, we could probably hit 200 yards. 200 more, oh, 200 yards. Yeah. Well, there you have it. If you guys want to see a part two, why don't you go down, leave a like, and we'll make an even better version two of this. Is there anywhere you want people to follow you at? Instagram, Twitter? I don't have any of that. He has none of that. So this is Frank. You will only see him in these videos. So that does it for the field test. I will see you guys back at the bench for the, <laughs> for the outro. <laughs> this thing came out awesome. I can't believe we got it to go 346 feet. That's almost an entire football field. That is insane. I do plan on building a version two with this with Frank if we can get up to 500 subscribers. We will be building a giant potato cannon that will be way, way more powerful than this. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to scroll down, hit that subscribe button, ring that little bell, and give me a thumbs up while you're down there. Also, leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of this build, what you would have done differently, and what else you'd like to see in the future. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.